I'm planning to go on vacation very soon, and I'll be choosing from one of these towns. Uh, there are a lot of towns that have banned horse carriage rides. I would like to go to Niagara on the Lake, but you have horse carriage rides, and I know that you have been advised of how cruel this is. So please ban the horse carriage rides, and I will be coming to your town to spend my money along with a lot of other people, but not until then. Hi, my name is Kathy Gushu from Pompton Lakes, New Jersey, and just want to say that I agree with these folks to um, eliminate the horse and carriages. We have them in New York also, and I can't stand them, and always feel really badly for the horses. So I thank you guys for doing what you're doing. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you, ma'am. You guys have a great day. You too. We don't like John Daenerys. <laughs> you, you tell me when I can. Okay. Well, I'm from Argentina. My name is Gabriela, and I agree with you with your claim. And I, I'm aware of the animals. I love them, and you have to care of them. The world has an evolution, so we have to evolve tonight. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so Bye. much. Have a lovely day. I'm Wendy from Chicago. I'm vegan and very much opposed to speciesism from the exploitation of horses of any animals whatsoever. It's wrong and it should be banned. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Good day, everyone, to Niagara on the Lake. Uh, this is Sandra Gajdos. I'm an animal activist from Montreal. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you're doing for the horses uh, in Niagara on the lake. Uh, Horse-drawn carriages are absolutely unnecessary. Uh, it's disgusting. Uh, it's really uh, it, it's torture for them. Horses do not want to be uh, going around uh, pulling heavy carriages with uh, rusty bits, uh, painful bits uh, in their mouths. Uh, with the painful hooves uh, they have under their feet. Uh, horses are not made to be walking around uh, asphalt, concrete, um, uh, cement uh, on roads. They're not built for that and they do not want to do that. Uh, horses, they, they deserve respect. Uh, they need to live in uh, pastures and sanctuaries where they can live in peace, where they can do what they want, uh, when they can rest when they want, they can run around when they want. Um, you know, using animals like this is pure torture. Uh, Montreal has banned horse-drawn carriages uh, in December 2019. Not soon enough, but it is a big victory for the horses over here in Montreal. There are so many that have been, um, you know, uh, hurt, uh, collapsing on the street, uh, getting injured, and uh, that have died. And so have uh, horses from all over the world, and it will happen in Niagara too, uh, if, it, if it is not banned. Uh, the perfect solution is to change, um, you know, switch up the, these carriages to electrical carriages. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing in Montreal. It's a very smart idea. And tourists are a lot more comfortable uh, hopping onto these electrical carriages than hopping into a carriage uh, pulled by an animal. Um, so, you know, this is extremely hard to explain um, to people who do not love animals because obviously these cultures, uh, they, they do not love animals. They do not have uh, compassion or empathy in their hearts. Uh, there are often people who have been abused before in their life and uh, they take it out on the animals uh, or their parents never taught them uh, compassion. They were taught to uh, love their cat and dog at home and be respectful and, you know, not hurt them, uh, but uh, they were taught to hurt and kill, uh, torture other animals, which is, this is called speciesism, uh, when you put one species uh, above uh, the other one. Uh, so please have more respect. Uh, go get some electrical carriages. You don't need to be doing this. You guys are just embarrassing yourselves. Uh, and I see you guys embarrassing yourselves too. Um, you know, at protest, you guys approach the activists saying really stupid things, uh, making fool of yourselves, harassing the activists. Activists have every right to be there and to protest and to speak up for the animals that are being exploited, enslaved, uh, and abused. So I just want to uh, say to the activists on Niagara on the Lake, uh, me and my friends from Montreal, we will be coming down. Uh, I can't promise you that I will be as kind uh, to these cultures as you guys have. Um, but uh, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, horses, they just 
you know, they deserve better. Uh, and we're in 2019. Uh, this is ridiculous. It's crazy that in 2019 that we have to explain to adults on how to have more compassion and empathy for animals. So thank you very much. Have a great day. And I will see you soon in uh, Niagara on the lake. Thank you. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Hi, my name is Mario Vasquez. I'm from Mexico City. I'm visiting Canada for the first time. And I'm really happy to see some activism going on here in Niagara, um, especially because I've been vegan for the last six years and I really don't agree with animals being treated as slaves. And I think we really need to put an end on this. So thank you for doing it. Thank you. My name is Sam. I'm from Toronto and I am against using horses for carriages. Thank you. And I'm proud that you all are out here standing up for the horses that can't speak, as I do feel, especially in the summertime and everything, on these roadways and whatever. It's not the best for their feet. And once their feet are gone, they die yeah. because they're put down. So thank you for doing that. Thank, thank you. you. My name is Alicia, and I reside in Toronto, but I have a farm in Fremont. And as a guardian of two lovely horses, Laura Lila and actually Corky, Corky, I am really outraged that people would actually use horses for human pleasure. Our horses are here for only a short period of time to share this planet with us, not to be used. Do you want somebody to ride on your back? No. Treat horses as you would want to be treated. They're lovely animals. All animals, animals are lovely. So please be respectful and love them to death as we all do. Thank you, ma'am. Thank no, it you. Is, it, uh, it breaks my heart. I can't believe there's still in this. Well, I can't believe after coming here every year after year. I mean, you've got fewer actually here than there used to be. There's there's five here today. Oh, and I today saw. and the, the, the business that but operates it's this. It's like the Santorini donkey in, um, in Greece. Greece. Yeah. I am actually a big donkey sanctuary proponent, and I think donkeys are also very mis. Uh, understood animal. I mean, they're animals. They're, they're just like we are. They're the they same as us. The only difference is the body that they're trapped in. Which is what makes us better than we're, we're all equal. Uh, we treat your animals, treat our animals as equal. Exactly. So I know I'm a proponent of goats, horses, alpacas, dogs, cats. We have them all on our farm. So beautiful. I just I wish you luck, and I just wish anything I could do. But Thank yeah. you. Well, Man, the, the, horse the, drawn the video statement is.